Hey YouTube, it's Charlie from Read Turned Writer. Today I am sharing about a Cosmere readathon I'm doing this year. It's been a while, I'm not really doing YouTube a lot right now with four kids and homeschooling and everything. Um, I am trying to be active on my Instagram account, I'll link that down below in case you want to follow, and a lot of the stuff that I'll be doing for the readathon, just like posting about when I read stuff and if I talk about the books or anything, that's all going to be over on Instagram in my stories and stuff. So if you want to follow along, you can uh, go follow me there and find all of my stories about the Cosmere books I'm reading this year on Instagram. If you've followed my channel for any amount of time, you probably know I am a really big Brandon Sanderson fan. I have been for many, many years. I read his first book when I was 19. I read Way of Kings first. That was my introduction to him. Before, he had Way of Kings, um, Warbreaker, Elantris, and the original Mistborn series, as well as a couple novellas out um, when I first found him. So he's obviously written a ton of books since then. And I'm really excited because at the end of this year, in December, he is releasing the fifth Stormlight Archive series book. Way of Kings is the first Stormlight book. They're huge books, uh, epic fantasy. Uh, if you've ever heard of Wheel of Time, it's very similar to that where there's a lot of different characters and they follow a lot of different points of views. The series is going to have 10 books total, but the first five wrap up this timeline and then it jumps 10 years and then the next five will still follow some of the same characters that survive this next book, but it will kind of be its own plot line, I think, is kind of how it is. So this is kind of a, it's not the end of the series, but it kind of wraps up the first half of the series. Um, I'm really hoping in a good way, I'm really hoping it's not in a huge cliffhanger way, but we'll see. Um, anyway, it's called Wind and Truth, and I'm way excited for it, and there are some Cosmere books that I've read recently, and there are some that it has been a long time since I've read. So if you don't know, the Cosmere is the universe that a lot of Brandon Sanderson's fantasy books take place in. You can read all of the books independent of each other, but there are... Um, cool little Easter eggs or connections that you can make if you read all the books because they're all combined similar to Marvel where um, you could technically watch Endgame without watching all of the movies I uh, did. I didn't watch all of the movies before watching Endgame but you're gonna miss some stuff if you don't read all of them. Right. So long story short to prepare for Wind and Truth at the end of this year I am doing a Cosmere re-readathon and I am really excited about it and if you want to join along you can if you want to read just the Stormlight books reread the Stormlight books in preparation or just reread the fourth Stormlight book I think that's what my husband's gonna do in preparation or if there are other Cosmere books that you want to read however you want to do it or if you've never read any of them and you want to start reading them you can totally join in and you can count it as a readathon if you read any of the Cosmere books this year, I guess. And if you want to hear my thoughts on any of the Cosmere books, again, I'll be talking about them on my Instagram stories this year as I reread them. I will not be reading Alamancer Jack or White Sands graphic novels. They're not my favorite and I don't really have any interest in reading them. And I also don't feel like they have a lot of tie-in with the rest of the uh, universe. I also will not be rereading the secret projects from last year that are Cosmere because I read them last year and I've read them so recently and there's already so many books that I'm pushing it to get them all done in 2024. But if you want to read those um, as part of this, you are welcome to. Alright, really fast I'll just share um, my schedule of how I'm going to break it down and try and fit them all in uh, in 2024. So in, I'm going to start with Mistborn and in January I'll read the first Mistborn book, The Final Empire. In February I will read the second Mistborn book, The Well of Ascension. In March, I will finish off the series and read the third Mistborn book, The Hero of Ages. I will also read two shorter, um, one, one's a short story, The Eleventh Medal, and it goes along with the original Mistborn series, and since it's a short story, I can throw it anywhere. And I will also reread Mistborn Secret History, which is also a shorter novella, so I feel like I can fit those two in with Hero of Ages, but that kind of finishes off the original Mistborn trilogy and I feel like secret history goes along well with them. 
So the Wax and Wayne series that takes place in the same world as the Mistborn series but hundreds of years later, they're slightly shorter books than the original Mistborn, so I'm going to double them up the next two months and I'm going to read Alloy of Law and Shadows of Self in April, and then in May I'll read Bands of Mourning and The Lost Metal, and that will finish up all of the Mistborn books. In June I'm going to be reading Warbreaker, which is a standalone, it's a little bit longer and I think it'll be a good one for June. In July I'm going to reread Elantris. It has also it's been a really long time since I've read Elantris. I'm also going to read the short story Hope of Elantris that obviously goes along with Elantris. I'm also going to read the novella Emperor's Soul because it takes place in the same world as Elantris and Elantris is slightly shorter. It's a standalone that is slightly shorter and so I think that I can fit those three in pretty easily. So now we've made it to Stormlight Archive um, to prepare for December. So in August, I'm going to read Way of Kings. In September, I'm going to read Words of Radiance. If I have time, I will also read Edge Dancer, which is the novella. She called it a novella, but it's actually really kind of long for a novella. Um, but it's the novella that goes between Words of Radiance and Oathbringer. If I don't get to it in September, then I will push it and just start it at the beginning of October before I jump into Oathbringer. And then in October, I will read Oathbringer. And I'm very excited to read Oathbringer because Dalinar is my favorite character. And Dalinar is the um, main viewpoint in Oathbringer. And I just, I will never not cry at the end of Oathbringer when Dalinar has his moment. I just love that moment so much. Anyway, so I'm very excited to read Oathbringer. And then I will also read Dawn Shard in October, unless I push that to the beginning of November. Dawn Shard is the novella that goes between Oathbringer and Rhythm of War. And then in November I will read the fourth Stormlight Archive book, Rhythm of War. And I really need to reread this one as well because I've actually only read it the one time when it very first released three or four years ago. And so I definitely need a refresh. I am not good at remembering books. I can reread books sometimes and be like, I don't actually remember what happened and it's almost like reading it for the first time. Not what really happened with any of these books because I've reread them many times, um, although it might happen a little bit with uh, Rhythm of War just because it's been so long, but yes, I really need to reread that one. And then in December, I think it's December 6th that Wind and Truth come out, comes out, so it's at the very beginning of December, but I had two more Cosmere novellas that I really wanted to get to, and I thought putting them in December was perfect because they're both short, quick reads, and I do want to revisit them as part of my Cosmere deep dive, I guess. <laughs> that is Sixth of Dust and Shadows for Silence in the Forest of Hell. Um, they're both novellas. I remember just getting through them very quickly, like in less than a day when I first read them, so I don't think there will be any trouble to read them in December. I don't necessarily have to read them before Wind and Truth comes out. They're just my re- I, I, do, I try and do a reread for every single month of the year, and they're my reread for the month. Yes, I am very much looking forward to this uh, Cosmere re-read-a-thon that I made up for myself, and I would love if you guys are Brandon Sanderson fans, let me know in the comments below, let me know what your favorite book is, if you are rereading any of the Cosmere books this year to prepare for Wind and Truth, and just kind of nerd out with me. And um, yeah, I guess thanks for being here. I know I'm not here a lot, but I do still love my YouTube channel and maybe someday I'll come back to it when my kids are a little older. Uh, we'll see. And yeah, so thanks for watching and happy reading this year.